Hello, Pisces friends. How are you? I feel it's been a little bit for me because I spent a few days um, in the Grand Canyon. It was amazing. And I was thinking of you. I did really cool meditations while I was out there. I have my mum visiting from Australia. So um, I'm excited to be back here connecting in with you, Pisces. And thank you for everyone who sends messages through comments, um, emails and things like that. Just sharing their experience of the energies right now, what's going on, um, you know, for you as an example. So uh, appreciate you. And let's kick in right now to see how we can support your journey. And I will do a specific read tomorrow for how to prepare for the eclipse, um, you know, or what's going to be highlighted for you, Pisces. So let's check in with your current energies to see what you need to know. And yeah, sending you a whole bunch of love and support. All right, friends. Miss you a bunch. Let's go for our Pisces. What does our Pisces need to know? What does our Pisces need to know? Thank you. I'm just getting like the wait is over. So I want to get one more. Thank you, Spirit, for this one. Okay, it's given us quite a few. So let's um, see what this is and we'll just go with that and dive in deeper, Pisces. All right, so we've got man holding a coin, walking away, patience. You keep getting the same message, blossoming abundance, envy, door to romance. Okay, Pisces, something is happening here. There's some question here about some stability in a connection or regarding a job, an opportunity, something around wealth, something around finances or your stability in general, whatever that is. So I'm not sure if this is a connection you're dealing with, an earth sign, um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But I I see someone who who he who wants that feel good energy of I've got this and that's got that has a bit more resonance to like I'm secure in who I am as a person I'm secure with the money that I've got I can provide I can support because that's very grounding energy so that I feel that energy is key here as of that person um, that's in this space right now but I see walking away and patience so if you are considering walking away from something Pisces you're being told to hold up wait up this is I, I just feel this is not a time because there might be just something that needs to shift that's going to change the whole landscape. God has a plan and it may not be the exact time, the ex exact way you're expecting, but I feel there's a plan here and hence why just like really connect into yourself, not making decisions when things are, are too high or too low, okay? I feel that's really important right now. You've got blossoming abundance, envy and daughter romance. So I do see here that there is going to be some growth, some success here around your 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 money space around your home space something is shifting and working um, for you in support of you with this envy energy though some i do feel someone around here whoever this is whether it's you them um, a connection a dynamic a business place whatever it is for you there's someone here that's looking at everything from uh, a bit of a, a a lens of negativity and i feel it's not not helping they want all these things on the outside what they're seeing they want all this but they're so stuck in this space in this energy and it's very hard to you know want want an example that I use and, I, and I've used it with a couple of people I think it's really interesting some people want things that they want without recognizing that they also need to show up that way if that makes sense if you want love if you want you know money if you want to get fit you've got to show up as that being that person it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen overnight but putting that energy in putting that effort in it's returned so it's just something to be mindful about um because i feel like someone's operating out of a space that they want things but they're not they're so stuck in their head that they're not getting out there to do what they need to do to acquire that to feel that to achieve that but with this door to romance something's balancing out so if you have a connection that's a little bit unstable right now, Pisces, I feel this is ba balancing out for you. So again, just take a breath, take a moment if where you need to slow down. That wasn't a very good shuffle. Um, but yeah, I just feel right now um, there just needs to be a little bit of gentle energy and a little bit of grounded energy um, more so than maybe what you're used to. Because I know too, Pisces, that... I, I just feel for some of us, you know, and I'm talking us in general as humans is that 
when we're in a space of feeling uncertain, not feeling grounded, not feeling like our home space or our finances are safe and, and supported, that we can be freaking out a bit. And when we're freaking out, we're choosing to make decisions to try and, you know, um, like survive and keep ourselves safe. And I feel like sometimes it comes more from what our thoughts are versus what's actually happening. Okay. So just be mindful of that. So let's get a few more cards and see what spirit has for us regarding the situation, what we need to know. They're flying out. All right. So we've got justice energy. I like it. The chariot and the wheel of fortune. See, everything's moving forward as it should, Pisces. I like that there's justice energy here because for me, that feels like whatever's been out of balance, what haven't, hasn't felt right um, is coming coming into play here. Okay, so so I, I like when I see that. In addition, we've got the chariot energy with the with the wheel. So even more there's something happening here that is shifting that is changing but interesting we've got the the patience energy because i feel anything that needs to change or shift a key part here is about timing a key part here is about divine intervention and recognizing that we don't we make things happen when we're trying to control them and so usually when we're trying to control things you know when those things just don't seem to work out so well so how can you give time and space for things to breathe while you keep moving forward because as you keep moving forward as you keep you know this i think smart intentionality um without i'm just getting like it's I feel like there's something here about the way someone is thinking or viewing a situation that I feel something needs to be shifted. And I am seeing and feeling that shift of someone now going, you know what, I want things to work out. I want things to balance out. I want everything that needs to come to light to come to light. But we've also got to change the way that we're approaching. We've got to change the game. And I, and I like it because the moving forward is taking back control and recognizing you know, to, to go after what you're feeling called to go after, but allow it, allow it to happen as it needs to happen without trying to force things to happen. Okay. Because there is something working in the background. You can't see Pisces. Um, look, Ace of Cups. So whether this is like a new connection, new love for something, new love for someone, I just feel like this is what's happening. There is a turn of events occurring, but patience is needed here. Okay. All right, what else do we need to know that can influence? Thank you. Yeah, so there's something that's been really hard here. <laughs> and I think, you know, trying to be okay. We've got, so everything is fine. The star energy, the tower energy, and the hang one. Yeah, so there's definitely been some shake up here, Pisces, that you know, has kind of knocked you about a bit, it seems. But I, at the same time, sometimes these things need to happen to allow something to rebuild because I see with the star energy and the hang one, I'm feeling like, you know, there's healing that needs to occur, but I do feel there's someone or some situation here that people may have different perspectives of the way that they look at things. And when people are having a different perspective, the way they're looking at things, it can cause a bit of a shakeup and it can cause a shakeup that people don't want. But how do you get your message across? How do you express how you feel or your views on something without causing that? And I think this time you're trying to really look at potentially a different approach to really move forward um, and, and getting, you know, what, what you need here. Let's have a look at what the potential outcome is here. One more. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. And we don't read reversals just so you know, friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it, Pisces. The sun, the ten of cups, the six of swords, and the ace of swords. So there's definitely healing going on here to get to a place of, you know, I'm just feeling riches, Pisces, in a sense of like wholeness within yourself. So whatever's I feel being disturbed, this where your happy place was that may have been shaken up, I just feel whatever this change or shift is, it's a really good one. And you may not see that now because something is a bit disturbed, I feel. But the more that you keep connecting, I mean, look, you've got Blossing Abundance, the Sun, the Ten of Cups, you've got the Star Energy, you've got the Ace of Cups. There is newness here and Door to Romance. There is new energy that's putting light, being like life force being put into this. And I do feel for some of you, this is a relationship um, 
or a connection to a situation that a, a significant relationship is very important here um, because I'm feeling this this hope and this desire there is this new opportunity um, to move forward here into a more peaceful place but also one where you know people are coming together to really look at things one from a logical perspective and sometimes logical is really understanding how people operate sometimes it's about our emotional intelligence sometimes it's understanding psychology communication and things like that so whatever has been a bit bumpy I see coming like just this beautiful light being sh shined upon and I think you needed this hardship for for a reason whatever this is so if you're considering walking away just take pause Pisces because I think the more that you focus on yourself and focus how you you know can just be gentler on yourself and have more compassion for yourself but also on the situation and recognize that you can have this fresh start and fresh beginning with both ace of cups and ace of swords this is all possible and available to you but i do think that where things haven't been getting on it's finding a way to connect to make it work for it to heal because i do see a lot of healing energy here and to things to balance out because again justice in the star to me is balancing out it's re-nurturing something that emotion needed to be put in but i think sometimes we can get so caught in our emotions that we're really missing what's going on maybe there's a cycle cycle a pattern a behavior a thought a belief system because i can see that here that is just messing things up so be mindful of that there's really beautiful things happening here pisces so just take pause and it might be that we need to take pause until this eclipse energy um, you know kind of flushes out over the next few days because what I what I'm kind of seeing happening is you're being asked to wait because I feel like something's trying to be lit up something's trying to be shown and there's a lot of there's a lot of good energy happening we've got Pluto that's gone direct even though we've got it moving back into Capricorn soon and then we've got um We've got uh, Venus, you know, happening and I'll get more to that in the eclipse energy and go through a bit more astrology, but just, you know, be mindful because we're really seeing here that there, there's a lot of beauty to be had. We'll speak soon. Bye now.